Virgos, welcome to Moonspell Tarot. So today we are going to go ahead and do your April 18th through 24th uh, weekly reading. And we're going to pull an angel card uh, just to get an overall energy reading of your week. And then we will do some tarot as well. And before I jump in, I just wanted to remind you all to please hit that subscription button if you are interested in weekly zodiac readings as well as um, several pick a cards a week. I post about four to five a week if you're interested in that type of thing. Okay, so let's give you a good shuffle and we will see what is going on with you, uh, Virgos. Okay, what do we need to know for Virgos? What is important for them this week? Oops. Sorry if you could hear the cars driving outside. It's a little bit loud today. There must be something going on in my neighborhood because there's like a ton of people outside. <laughs> okay, so quiet retreat. How fitting, right? Um, so, you know, you definitely right now could use some relaxation time, some quiet time. So this week, uh, Virgos, definitely take care of yourself. You know, don't feel bad about um, maybe taking an extra day off if that's something you could do or on your day off, um, you know, just relaxing and not... Um, doing a bunch of stuff for other people or, um, you know, running a bunch of errands, you know, things like that. Just kind of relax um, whenever you can this week. Even after work, you know, just come home and just relax, watch a movie, take a nice hot bath or shower, um, you know, eat something that makes you feel good. Um, because I see that you may be overworked and that you are feeling um, a little bit overwhelmed by life right now. So um, I can see that for many people in general, especially for you Virgos. Um, you know, many people are like returning back to work and a lot more jobs are opening up and it's very busy, especially if you work in some sort of like uh, customer service because, you know, of everything with like the virus reopening. And so I feel like some of you, if you're in that situation, especially and you work, you know, at a restaurant or some sort of customer service type job, uh, you may be feeling overwhelmed because the sheer amount of people that you're dealing with and you've been used to you know, not being around so many people for, you know, well over a year now. So, you know, it can be really frustrating and a challenge. So I totally understand, um, you know, just give yourself a break. It's okay to sometimes take a break. And, you know, if you have a day that maybe you can call in or, um, like I said, even on your off days, just relax, be kind to yourself. You definitely need that right now. And, uh, you know, with four of wands, I see that um, it would be really beneficial for you to maybe spend some time with someone who's close with you, someone who makes you feel good, uh, someone who um, you can talk to and makes you feel appreciated. So whether that be a partner or a friend or your mother or a family member, whoever that is, um, even your pet, if you don't want to spend time with another person, uh, if you, you know, really love your dog or cat, spend time with them, you know, just spend time with uh, something or somebody that makes you feel comfortable and good about yourself and you know you will feel a lot more like energized and revived after this so you really need um, I feel like a really good heart to heart a really good just relaxing time even if you just invite a friend over and you all order takeout and watch you know a movie there's nothing wrong with that you may just need a day of relaxation. I definitely feel like you need some time to like decompress, especially with earth signs and Virgos in general. Um, we, I'm an earth sign of Capricorn, so I definitely feel this. We tend to get very overstimulated by the world and other personalities. And so we need a lot of time to decompress. And so if you're not taking that, if you are you know, working all week and then on your off day you are like still busy running around like you're crazy, then that can be really hard and that can be a challenge. So definitely make sure that you are, um, you know, um, relaxing and taking that time to decompress. And you feel like the cup is half full for you. You feel very low. You feel very tired. Um, you just kind of feel as if you're going to just like collapse at any minute. So I see you're very mentally and physically tired Virgos, you know, very much, you know, just needing that time to do something kind for yourself. And so I see that you, some of you may have a little bit of a hard time speaking out for yourself, which I feel like is definitely something that is common in the Virgos that I know. They're not one to really speak up. They kind of um, tend to go with the flow a little bit more. And so, um, 
you know, this can be good for you to learn to stick with your guns. You know, if you feel like you really just need to call in one day or on your off day, someone's asking you to do something for them. It's okay to say no. You have to think about yourself sometimes and as hard of a message that is to hear, um, you know, it's really important to take that time for yourself. So, you know, don't feel bad about saying no because you deserve, you know, time for yourself as well. And, you know, again, just feeling very low. Um, you're not like spiritually protected. You feel very down uh, because you haven't been able to take that time for yourself. And if you are like a remotely spiritual person, take this time to reconnect um, with nature and, you know, maybe even going for a nice walk. Um, if you are into like crystals or anything like that, you can wear like a rose quartz bracelet or any other type of jewelry that you may like. And that helps reconnect with yourself and helps with like our self love and helps us feel good about ourselves. Um, also like, um, just burning like incense or sage, something that makes you feel like connected and makes you feel good and positive about yourself. Um, even if you're doing these things just while you're relaxing, it doesn't have to be like a big thing, you know, it could just be like very relaxing and that, that helps, you know, I find that for me, um, those things really make me feel relaxed and make me feel good. And so I like to do those things even when I'm just, you know, relaxing and, um, that's going to help spiritually protect you and, um, make you feel more confident in saying no and speaking up for yourself, which is really important for you guys. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.